Singapore has made a great effort to reduce its carbon emissions, transitioning from oil-powered plants to natural gas in the last 20 years. Natural gas currently accounts for 95% of the electricity produced in Singapore. While still a fossil fuel, it's the cleanest burning fuel available. The only way to reduce emissions even further is to use renewable energy. Experts say advancements in technology and economies of scale have made renewable energy more cost-effective. Renewable energy is actually now one of the cheapest options to add any power generation. Now, I would really like to see that renewable energy is very likely to lead to the whole electricity sector. And the experts predict that by 2050, about 95% of the new power generation will actually come from renewable energy, which is a big deal. And another thing to look out for is, uh, as I mentioned before, the renewable uh, energy are intermittent, so they are not dispatchable, which means that they really need to be coupled with energy storage system, for instance, and so that we are likely to see with the large penetration of renewable energy, we're likely to see the uh, investment of, of energy storage systems. Among the various types of renewable energy, solar power is the most viable fit for Singapore due to its small size and lack of other natural resources. The government says it wants to power 350,000 households through solar energy by 2030. Experts say there's still much potential for growth in this sector here. Other than the rooftop, which everybody sees all the time, uh, we can potentially install solar PV on many other space. For instance, the facade of a building. Uh, you can add PV to the existing buildings or potentially even build a PV to new buildings to begin with. Another innovative way that the Singapore government could potentially install solar is in water bodies. Like you can use the over reservoirs or offshore areas. For instance, Singapore is experimenting with install floating solar PV on Tanga Reservoir, which is one of the largest in the world. Singapore is leading um, this space in the world. For Eigen Energy founder Kevin Sim, solar energy has always been something of interest to him. Like back in secondary school, there was like a solar car um, race challenge and all. So the interest definitely started from there. And coupled with the fact that upon graduation, it was actually fledging. It was in nascent industry at the moment and it was quite opportune time. And I think there was a lot of potential and it is a lot. Of, I incorporated Icon Energy on my own and along the way then we found partners and team members that are uh, align in our vision, which is basically to provide renewable energy solutions uh, for the Singapore Southeast Asia market. When Eigen Energy was incorporated in 2015, technological advancements in batteries and photovoltaic or PV cells had brought down the cost of solar panels. But as an unknown entity with no track record, Kevin faced a number of rejections before someone was willing to give his new company a try. Our very first big break was actually with uh, the United Nations. So we had a reverse osmosis project in the Maldives and obviously that uh, gave us a lot of visibility uh, and, and track record to start with. And then along the way, we were very fortunate to, to acquire quite prolific customers like uh, banking institutions, tertiary universities, and up to recently, we have our large majority of clients come from the oil and gas industry. In the past five years, actually, we've installed more than 100,000 panels uh, across a wide spectrum of uh, industries and clientele. One of the more recent projects for Eigen Energy was to provide PV cells for the Singapore Management University's new building extensions called SMU Connection. SMU Connection was designed to be a net zero energy building. So what that means is that all the PV production is equally matches all the consumption. So at the end of the day, the building produces as much as it consumes or maybe sometimes in good sun conditions even more. 
For Kevin Sim and Eigen Energy, the next challenge is to move beyond Singapore and into the region. Eigen has actually already established uh, regional offices in the Philippines, in Brunei, and uh, we are looking forward to expand on that and to, in, to increase our presence in the Southeast Asian region, to be a regional player basically. So Southeast Asia is actually one of the fastest growing regions in the world uh, on average. It's growing at 6% annually and with that comes a growing middle class and uh, greater demand for energy and electricity. So coupled that with uh, increasing awareness about climate change and then I feel green energy or renewable energy is well suited to be um, the solution for, for this segment. It's a view shared by the International Energy Agency. In their latest report, they predict that renewables will overtake coal to become the largest source of electricity generation worldwide by 2025.